Creating a sustainable lifestyle takes a lifelong commitment. People often attempt to reduce their carbon footprint by altering their methods of transportation and energy consumption. In order to have healthy communities, we need clean air, natural resources, and a non-toxic environment. The Brown Bag Learning Series at the Main Library features local speakers on a wide range of topics. During this session, Claudia and Brigitte show us ways to simplify our life and identify healthy, creative ways to reduce our waste. Recycling is, we cannot recycle ourselves out of this crisis. Recycling is okay, but it's not a solution. Especially that China now doesn't accept our recycling anymore. There's, when we put our recycling in our trash can, um, E.L. Harvey from Westboro is coming with big truck, picks that stuff up. They have this facility where they store everything. It's pretty messy there, but they store everything apart. And then he has to store it in his, in his parking area. So there's huge amount of recycled stuff that is stored there because it's right now they don't know where to put that stuff. If for recycling, there are different, different hierarchies. The best to recycle is metal. So if you choose between a, a bottle of beer or a can of beer, it's more sustainable to use the can of beer. Because metal, when you recycle metal, it becomes metal again, the same grade. The second good, uh, best thing would be glass, because glass is pretty good, it's a pretty good material. And then, oh, and then paper, and then plastic. Plastic is really, it's very complicated, this plastic. Some of the stuff is recyclable. It's, it's a whole, I could talk all day about plastic because there's so many different things. There's a styrofoam thing, there's a number system. So plastic is, is very tricky. Brigitte and I don't have any environmental background. We are just have a background in communications. Brigitte is an engineer. And we are doing this because we think it's important. We both have children and we both think it's important for our future generations. And if we feel like everybody can do that. You don't need to have an environmental um, background. You can start implement. You can you can create a green a green environmental group in your church, at your kids' school, um, anywhere. You can start with just two people. Um, what I did is, and when I was in my church, I I did I made a list of all the things we can make better. What we can do? Can we improve the recycle? Can we try to consume to create less trash? So we all. Is in all our hands to, to start to bring in, uh, to improve in, you know, our society, our community, because right now we don't have the right politicians in charge, but we can do a lot of things in, in our community. Uh, about three years ago, I started a blog called the Happy Bee Blog, um, where I write everything we do, uh, everything um, I, we do at home, and I share it in my blog. So I have lots of ideas, and everything is local. So I have listings of where to buy local food, um, local places, farms, um, where to buy used clothing, consignment stores. I don't know if you know, but uh, Brigitte was one of the one um, one of the people behind the Bring Your Own Bag initiative in Framingham. She and two other people worked for two years yeah, in two order years. to uh, put that initiative. And um, I think we met around that time that you were at Dana Jump to the boat later on, they, they did most of the work. And I remember we were in the town um, when everybody was debate, debating that. And I remember I was crying, I was like, if we didn't pass, I'll move out. And when it passed, for me, it was like, I was crying of happiness. Because for me, it was like, if a, if a town like Framingham, which is so diverse, has this, you have no idea how happy I felt. But this is the, the, the power of, of people, you know, of the grassroots where we start working together. That's amazing things can happen.